do a little shopping during the coronavirus uh, outbreak. And got my gloves. They're not medical gloves, but they are more preventative than just having my hands out, you know, touching things and all that type of stuff. Now, I went shopping earlier this week, but we just want to stock up on a couple more things before Trump implements his plan that goes in effect tonight. A lot of people in here wearing masks right now. Uh, a lot of people with their masks on. I didn't wear mine, but best believe I got it. If I need it. If I feel like I need it, I'll put it on. Essentials to keep my immune system high and my family's. This is where it gets crazy, the meat section. Of course there's nothing, glad right? we already stocked up, but there's absolutely no chicken during the So that particular trip came to about 60 bucks, 60 dollars, 68 cents. So um, this week probably spent about uh, 250. Probably spent about 250 so far. Uh, got some essentials like you know toilet paper and stuff. And these are the essentials. Disinfectant, hand sanitizer, and wrap snacks. So I actually got some, I was able to get some ginger and lemon and stuff. Get it. Gotta have the cinnamon tops. This is essential for the children, because they eat them. Kind of necessary. You got ginger root, lime. Got a whole bunch of lemons. A whole bunch of lemons. Some good stuff that you can. Some spinach. Some good stuff you can throw into the blender and make something really good. Uh, to the snacks. Uh, we're good for two weeks, I believe. What you going for, Eddie Gustus? Stocked up on stuff like B12, vitamins, vitamin C, D, E, just all some of the essentials, D, C and D, they go together. You have to take both of those. So it's looking pretty stocked up. Got some juices up at the top. Oh yeah, definitely essential right now. <laughs> that top ramen. <laughs> what are just you know little stuff to to keep you going, man. For a couple of weeks just in case so, uh not bad to about 250 i think total for all of the stuff that that we purchased um tonight as you can see it was 60 bucks and uh hopefully that that'll keep us going for for well over a week hopefully uh max this out of two weeks you know just in case we have to stay in the house we don't really know what's really happening right now as far as this whole uh, quarantine lockdown thing is concerned, but you see, I, I did. Uh, I had my mask with me, but I was really being cautious about people coughing. 
and kind of if I was going to put it on or not. And I, and I do understand. I mean, my wife explained to me what well, my wife's a registered nurse. Uh, she explained that, you know, it's, it's not particularly. Oh, here you go. Thank you, sir. Yep. She explained it's not particularly airborne. It's more of uh, the, that your respiratory droplets can stay in the air for a certain amount of time. So it's not like a person can call and the coronavirus can travel. It's more of they cough and their respiratory droplets can stay right there for a certain amount of time before they die off. So if you, if you walk through it, you know, that area, you can um, potentially get the coronavirus. Um, but like I said, you know, I, I took the chance. I didn't wear my mask. I was being very vigilant and just making sure that I wasn't around anybody that was coughing or hacking. But again, you, they don't have to. You, you can carry the virus without, without even having any symptoms and the contagion can just be sitting there. You know, you could walk right into it. So we're just being really, really cognizant about the things that are going on, washing our hands, you know, sanitizing, cleaning, just making sure we're as safe as possible because we have two young ones at home. So that's really what it's all about, making sure they're fed. Um, my 14 year old has off of school for two weeks and you know, my three year old, she is going to be with uh, grandma because I'm going to be working from home for the next couple of weeks. And you know, a lot of my work uh, can be done over the phone. So can't really be loud. So she's going to be going back and forth to grandma's house and it, making sure that, that everybody stays clean and safe. And if it's not one place in the world I'm not worried about is grandma and grandpa's house because my dad, since I was young, has been cleaning religiously with bleach and ammonia and disinfecting since I can remember because my dad is a, I mean, he's a clean freak. I'm not going to say OCD with it, but <laughs> if you, if you want to call it that, you can. If you really want to call it that, you probably can. But yeah, if it's anywhere I want her to be, it's, it's with my mom and papa. Wow mom and dad are working because my wife she's not going to be able to stay home she she's a nurse so she's gonna have to go fulfill her duty at the hospital and you know she's she's being very vigilant and being clean but that's all it's really about man we, we have to survive it we have to get through this this whole time together it's a time of fear it's a time of you know we're, we're social distancing from each other but but guess what God got us in the hand. That's really what we need to do. We need to keep clean and pray. Keep clean and pray. Keep clean and pray. You know, if we are the ones that happen to catch this coronavirus, you know, it, it's hopefully our immune system is strong enough to fend it off. I believe it is. I believe that we have, you know, the best chance of fighting it. And you know, if it's if it's all if this is all a government thing for profit then they're doing their job. They're instilling the fear in us, but we, you know, we have God on our side, so we don't fear. We don't have fear if you have God. It's a, it's a word that doesn't exist. So stay safe, stay clean, stay blessed, and I get up with y'all. Peace.